The reason I had a Pro 4000 to tear down is because of this thing here. This printer was leaking black ink, very expensive black ink, and it was kind of an intermittent leak. Can see in the white tray at the bottom? All the dark area is where the ink had leaked. There is an absorbing pad in the bottom of the tray, and even after months of setting, it's still wet with ink. I've been trying to decide if I should just throw this away and not let my curiosity get the better of me, but I can't. I really need to know where the ink was leaking from. It won't serve any useful purpose, can only buy this whole unit as one piece. I just want to know what failed. To find that out, I'm going to have to pull this thing apart, and that is going to create a huge mess. This ink stains everything and seems just about impossible to get out of whatever it does stain. It's a very good ink. Let me get the wiring harness free from the plastic clips. This whole thing is held together with screws and plastic clips. I'll remove all the screws I can get to. All of these are not holding the top ink cartridge section to the ink tank slash pumping section. I'm just removing them all as it's not going back together. I took out a bunch of screws but only a couple hold the top section to the bottom. This is the part that holds the ink cartridges and I don't see this causing the ink leaking. Nothing has been out of place that could mess up the alignment of an ink cartridge. This first slot on the right is the one where the ink was leaking. I'm almost positive. Yeah, they all move about the same, so I don't see the problem coming from this part. So I expect the problem lurks in this section. There is a lot more black ink around this ink connection than the others, but I suspect that this cartridge was installed and removed a lot more than the others. I don't see this being related to the ink leaking. I'll remove this white plastic shroud. The ink cartridges don't have anything that seals to it, if I'm remembering correctly. There is a bit of a black ink puddle in a recess here on what I think is the ink holding tank. I think there would be a lot more of the ink on the top if that is where the leak was coming from. I'll remove this PC board back here. These must be the connections for the ink level sensors or out of ink sensors. Three connections for each ink. Looks like these six inks are divided up into three dual tank modules. I'll remove the screws and pull off these wire connections. Look like a ground strap connects to a common pin on each of the ink sections. I'll pull that off. No, it's still held in place pretty good. Probably more screws underneath. Which is a shame because turning it over is when things are really going to get messy. Let me get it out of the tray. First, let me see if the ink tubes will come loose. Nope, they don't disconnect. Guess that plastic piece was just to try and keep them from being kinked. Looks like just two screws hold it to the white tray. Yeah, it just lifts right off. No ink dripping down, but it's been months since it had an ink cartridge in it. Still, I'm starting to make a mess. I've got my old messy clothes on, but I still don't want to splatter the ink on me. I've seen this ink soak through plastic gloves, so it can't be good to get on the skin. Let me tape a couple of paper towels around the ink tube connector. Maybe just a little bit of ink in the tubes. The towels can absorb it. That is a pretty thick pad on the bottom of this thing. Maybe 5 eighths of an inch thick. At least it is now with all the ink in it. Can see it's still wet with ink. And I would say it's been over a year since this thing was run. I see a bit of red ink leaked as well, but that may be due to my handling of it. I don't remember that red being there when I took it off the printer. Here's the underside of the ink tanks. And can see there is quite a bit of black ink on the plastic under the black ink tank. Going from left to right, I think the colors are photo magenta, red, cyan, photo gray, matte black, photo black. So it's the photo black that was leaking. There are two cams here. One I believe recirculates the ink in the ink tank and ink cartridge. The other pumps the ink to the print head. Okay, I think it's the lower cam down here that pumps the ink to the print head or in this case to a big puddle that the two paper towels couldn't handle. Let me get that cleaned up. So this cam should be the one that recirculates the ink. Well, that it does seem to. I guess still plenty of ink in the tanks. I've put some paper towels over the nozzles so I don't make any bigger mess than I already have. This thing will spray ink quite a few feet. I do want to turn this cam a bit and see if I get any black ink dripping.
and underneath, yeah, that's a bit of fresh black ink, and it soaks into this MDF that has had the surface removed very fast. I'm sure these cams run some kind of pump setup. Let me get the cams off and see what they drive. I'll pop these gears off the end, get them out of the way. Looks like it's set up to move one of the cams when the motor is turning in one direction, and move the other cam when the motor reverses direction. Seems the cams are held in place by these three plastic bars, each with one screw attaching it. It is nice so much of this thing is put together with screws. Well, lower cam just about falls out, so that's good. Just a plastic clip on the gear and it pulls right off. And the cam comes right out. So that one is very easy to remove. But I don't think that is the one that is causing the problem. Gear comes right off the top cam, but it's still held in place pretty good. Looks like the arms that are riding on it are on the top and bottom of the cam, so it just can't pull out. Every time I move this cam, end up with more ink coming out. So I've got a few more screws here to remove. But if I remove the ink tank from the ink tube plate down here, I think I'm in for a huge mess. Let me see what's under these plastic covers. They look like they just clip on. Two springs that push on the arms that ride against the lower cam. The one that uh, pumps ink to the print head. The arms look like they have a rubber tip clipped in the end. The arm that is riding on the upper cam also looks to have a rubber tip clipped in it, just a much bigger one. I would guess that is the pump system, a rubber diaphragm that is moved by an arm riding on the cam. All of them look clean except for the one. It could be just a cracked rubber diaphragm that is causing the leak. Let me see if I can remove the plastic arms and get a better look at what is pumping the ink. I know I'm going to end up pulling this end tank module out, so I'm going to remove all the plastic pieces from it. I think the cam can be pushed a bit and then get popped out. Yes, there we go, much better. There are only two screws left holding in this ink tank section. I'm going to go ahead and remove them. The ink tube channels are right down here under this foil, so I'm quite sure ink is going to pour out when I loosen these last two screws. So I'm going to move things a bit before I do it. Didn't get that recorded, but I can assure you, I did make a mess. At least it was a controlled mess. So here's the matte black and photo black tanks. Looks like a plate with two screws holding the pump section. Still held tight. Let me get the cam arm off and see. Well, a little broke plastic isn't going to hurt anything at this point. So there is a third screw hiding under the cam arm. Okay, the pump plate just lifts right off after getting all three screws out. Let me clean it up a bit, try and get as much of the ink off as possible. I'll put some isopropyl alcohol in the diaphragm area and see if I can find a leak. I don't see any obvious cracks in the diaphragm. Wiggle it around a bit. No, not getting any of it seeping through. The rubber diaphragms are all one piece of rubber and it looks to be in good shape. I'm going to take apart the matte black pump just to see if I notice anything different between the two. Well, I do notice one thing right away. The pump that was leaking had ink all around the rubber insert. And the one that isn't leaking is nice and clean all around the rubber insert. And here the seating area on the tank has ink on it. But the tank seating area for the non-leaking pump is nice, dry, and free of ink. Could it be that the pump plate was just not tight enough and the ink was leaking around it? There is one more thing I want to check before I'm satisfied I've found the problem. I think I need to throw a bit of light on the subject to see what is going on. First thing I noticed under a bit more magnification are the two worn areas on the outer ring of the diaphragm. I don't think the cam arm would rub those spots. Not really sure what would rub there. Lo and behold, there it is, a tiny pinhole. What the light shining through can reveal. And this kind of explains why sometimes it would leak ink and other times it wouldn't. Depending on how the cam was positioned, the hole might be sealed up or it might be open. This is the diaphragm that is leaking from the photo black ink tank. Has the two wear areas. 
and I'm still not sure what rubbed those spots. Here's the diaphragm from the photo gray ink tank. This is from the center of the three dual tank modules. It has no wear area at all. Neither do the diaphragms from the photo magenta, red, or cyan. But here's the diaphragm from the matte black. Can see it has the same two wear areas, just not as bad as the photo black. Of course, this diaphragm is from the same dual tank module as the photo black. So I think it probably means that this tank module was not lined up like it should have been. Maybe the cam was moving the arms a bit more than it should, possibly causing the diaphragm to rub against the plastic it sets in. I'm just guessing at this point. I'm glad I took the time to pull it apart. I had almost thrown the whole unit away a couple of times, but every time I stopped and thought, then I'll never know what the problem was. Well, the problem is now known. I can't quite pin down what rubbed the two spots on the diaphragm, but I'm okay with that. I'm sure there is no way to get these pieces from Canon, and even if I could, would it be worth the time it would take to replace it? Probably not. Thank you for watching.